Hey everybody, I'm back. I've got some really cool babies from the 2021 hatching season, early 2021 hatching season. I've got, I think I'm up to 170 something clutches for the year now. So I've got a lot of clutches and all those are gonna be hatching in the next eight weeks. And I'm still getting clutches daily right now too. So there's gonna to be tons and tons of stuff to show you. This is just a small sampling. I'm gonna show you just a few cool things that I've hatched out, things that I think are cool anyway. Uh, so let's get right down to it. Uh, this first breeding is Butter Mystic, Het Lavender to a Lavender Mystic. And we got three butters. So those are 100% Het Lavender. Kind of hit bad odds with the lavenders in this clutch. And it was a smaller clutch too. This is a first year female. Uh, she's actually pretty small too. She's probably barely 1,500 grams when I bred her this year. Okay, then here we have a Lavender Super Mystic. So these guys, uh, you know, you can see a little striping going down their back, a little striping by the eye too. You know, not a, not a pure white leucistic snake, but still really cool. Um, these actually, you know, when I first produced these, I was kind of thinking and hoping, I produced these probably like five or six years ago already. I was hoping that this would be like a light purple or light lavender snake. They actually stay pretty white. Uh, white with uh, the little yellow stripe, and you can see that even into adulthood too. So really cool snake at any rate, but uh, yeah, a little different than what I expected. And that's just a good thing to show you that you need to, you need to there's a lot of trial and error that goes on. You know, we don't always just come out with, with incredible morphs so just knock it out of the park every time. Sometimes, you know, you can have a vision in your head of what a morph is going to look like, but until you breed it, you don't really know for sure. So I just encourage people to experiment, you know, put different genes together that you wouldn't normally think would be paired together and just see what happens. And sometimes you get awesome results from it. Okay, this next clutch, I'm going to leave him or her. Let's, let's just see. Him. I'm going to leave him just sit out here for a minute because the other ones that I have to show you are related in some way. Okay, this, this next clutch is from the same Butter Mystic Het Lavender bred to a uh, Lavender Butter. So this is a Lavender Mystic. Lavender Butters are a little different looking than this. It's hard to describe them. I've actually only produced maybe two or th actually like three or four of them so far. But um, they look a little bit different from this. But this is a, a Lavender Mystic. And then this one is either a lavender butter mystic or a lavender super butter solid white you know, very very little pattern if at all um and nice dark eyes look at those eyes see a little bit darker than a typical albinos really really cool so these guys right here are the two best ones out of, well, in my opinion, the best ones are what I was going for out of these clutches. And you can definitely see some differences with them. Let's just see what the sex is on this one. This is going to be a male. Yep. Cool. I don't have a male of these yet, so he will be staying here. This one will be for sale, for sure. And actually you have, I think I've got one, I think I've one or two more of these for sale that are bigger uh, from last year, actually. But this guy will stay here. And hopefully I'll produce a couple more yet this year. I have several clutches. My lavender albino projects are really going strong this year. Almost, I think just about every single female lavender that I own uh, produced a clutch for me this year. Okay, I'm going to put this one away first. Let you gaze at that one for just a second longer yet. Okay, enough of that. I want to keep this video relatively short. Okay, this next clutch is from a banana super stripe bred to a super pastel super stripe or super specter. Um, sometimes super stripes and super specters can be really tough to tell apart. Um, they're just very similar, so I didn't know for sure. But um, seeing that I did not get any ivories in this clutch, I'm thinking the, the female is a super pastel super specter. So let's just take a look and see what we got here. First one's a pastel. And 
and he's either yellow belly or specter. These guys are just finishing hatch or um, shedding right now. Here is a super specter, or possibly a super stripe. I guess it's, it's possible in this clutch because the male has yellow belly in him. Okay, then there's one banana pastel, another banana pastel, and another banana pastel. Really nice, super busy patterns. Um, and those are all either Spectre or Yellow Belly. Okay, then the last two for this clutch was what I was going for with, the, with these. That is either a banana super stripe or a super specter. And this one is as well. Now I'm thinking, it seems to me that the super specters tend to be a little bit busier patterned on the sides and maybe slightly darker than the super stripes. So if I just had to guess, I would say this is a banana super stripe and this is a banana super specter. But I don't know. I'm not I just can't tell them apart that well. But anyway, those are the yeah, those are the cool things that I hatched in this clutch. I the coolest things anyway. I guess they're all cool in their own right. Just love these guys. Hopefully the colors are showing up on the camera. They're just really, really pretty snakes. Okay, let's move on to some more. And all these guys will be available for sale uh, on the, my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. I'm really going to try hard to get snakes up for sale as quickly as I can this year. Basically, once they've had five or six meals, I'm going to take pictures of them and get them on the website. So you should see a lot of uh, increased content on my website in the very near future. Okay, this one is from an Emperor uh, Pinstripe. Krypton bred to a Krypton. So a pastel, lesser, pinstripe Krypton bred to a, just a normal Krypton. So when you breed Krypton to Krypton, you can get clowns, Kryptons, and cryptics. And the cryptics and cryptons have been really difficult to tell apart. I'm not still, I'm kind of getting some ideas about how to tell them apart, but I haven't really figured it out yet for sure. Uh, it's probably going to take some breeding trials to figure it out. But anyway, okay, so the first one we got here is a clown. And these haven't even all finished shutting yet. I just really wanted to show them. I've got some more krypton stuff I'll be showing soon too. This one's a lemon blast clown. I love pinstripe and clown. A uh, lot of lot of possibilities with it. That's a pastel lesser Krypton or cryptic. And this is the same thing. So you can see there's a definite difference between these two. And I'm thinking one's a Krypton and one's a cryptic. It's just going to take some trial and error to figure out which ones. Basically, if you breed this to a clown and, and you end up with all cryptons, that probably means that it's going to be a cryptic. If you, if you breed one to, uh, uh, if you, you know, if you bred this one to a clown, or either one of them, if you bred them to a clown and you get any clowns in the clutch, then they're cryptons. So a cryptic to a clown is going to produce all cryptons, and a cryptic or a Krypton to a clown is going to produce Kryptons and clowns. Hopefully I didn't just confuse you guys even more. I confuse myself talking about it sometimes. And this one obviously hasn't shed yet, but it is darker. The pattern is a lot darker than this one overall. It could just be differences from one snake to another, but I'm thinking that there's a difference between them. One's a Krypton and one's a, one's a cryptic. Okay, this next one, this is a lesser pinstripe, cryptic, or krypton. Here's the same thing. 
you can see there's a definite difference in color with these too. This one's got a lighter head, slightly lighter shade to it overall. So I'm thinking, my opinion is that that's going to end up being a cryptic and that's going to end up being a krypton. I have no breeding trial data or anything like that to say for sure, but that's what my thinking is. I produce several uh, animals in krypton to krypton breeding where I get some paler individuals than others, and I, I'm thinking that those are going to end up being the pure cryptics. And then here's the last baby from this clutch. This is an emperor pin krypton or cryptic. You can see the really light head, that's the pastel showing up in there. All right, well, stay tuned as I unravel the whole Krypton cryptic thing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm working hard at it. I've got a lot of clutches I'm producing this year, a bunch of new combos too. So hopefully I'll be able to start figuring things out a little bit better. Bottom line is cryptic, Krypton, whatever you want to call them, they are awesome to work with. I mean, it adds a whole new dimension to the clown complex. I guess we can start calling it a complex now since there's two different genes involved and they're both related, allelic. Um, so anyway, should be some really cool stuff coming out in the near future. And to check out uh, any kind of cryptic or krypton or any other ball pythons that I have, make sure to like, or, or well, please like and subscribe to this. And also make sure to visit my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. And I'm going to get going because these guys are making a run for it. So I'll be back again with another video showing you. I'll either do next one will be egg cutting or possibly showing you some more babies. But I'll be back very soon. Talk to you guys later.